The darkest path, the paranormal and our layered reality, written by David J. Chapman, edited and narrated by Alex Botton. Copyright 2023 by David J. Chapman. I want to um, tell you guys a little bit about this guy named Dave, who emailed me with um, some photographs and uh, I have his permission to post some of these photographs, so we'll we'll post it um, in the show notes, and you guys can check him out. And you know, he he gave me his whole testimony, and he was kind of a staunch atheist, and he uh, you know didn't believe in the supernatural, didn't believe in any of that stuff. Um, but one day, you know, uh, he one of the things he wanted to do was go visit tunnels, um, and he's out in the UK, and um, he basically went and checked out these tunnels and, and I'm not going to get the full story, right. But it, you know, I'll get the general idea. Um, uh, but basically he went out and checked out these tunnels. I think he was with, um, his wife is uh, a good friend. Um, and, uh, like his brother or something like that, just, just close, you know, a small group. And he took some pictures of the tunnels. And when he came back, uh, some of the images he captured were quite interesting to say the least. Um, could they be pure coincidence? Sure. You know, a lot of these uh, pictures and evidence, quote unquote evidence you have for a lot of these things could be tampered with, could be fake, whatever. But um, he, th the interesting thing is that he has one, uh, a piece of one of his images looks exactly like um, a, a drawing made by Aleister Crowley when he conjured up his spirit back in the uh, early 1900s, he did this right. huge satanic ritual and he, right. and it was like a really dangerous one or whatever. So he did all this stuff and he um, conjured the spirit named lamb and he actually made a sketch of lamb. And when you look at this, this kind of image of, of the, that Dave took in the tunnels, this face just looks kind of like lamb, you know, it's kind of got this and it, it kind of looks like, um, a, a, a gray, head. yeah, like a big bulbous head. You can see kind of the eyes and the nose. It's actually kind of cre creepy to look at a little bit. If you like zoom in, it's like, well, yeah, dude, that's kind of you, a face. It makes you a little bit uncomfortable. To look yeah. At. Yeah. It's kind of, it's so if you're kind of, you know, if you're not really, you know, if you're weak and you don't not weak, but like, you know, if you, if you just feel <laughs> like, you you know, you know what I mean? If you, if you're not no, like right. good with that stuff, you may want to, you know, not see these pictures, but, um, we'll have them there for you to check out. Um, Along, alongside Alistair's, uh, sketch yeah, there. So sketch of comparison. lamb. Yeah. And so continuing on Dave's story, Dave came home and he started having poltergeist like experiences in his house where stuff would fly across, you know, the room and, and, you know, you've heard all these tales. I mean, poltergeist activity has been around for ages. You know, they've all always had reports of this throughout human history. So it's nothing new.